Hi and welcome to this video on transition from BPOS to Microsoft Office 365. In this video we're going to show you very simply how to use the Hub One Transition Portal to really streamline your transition from your current BPOS platform to Microsoft Office 365. The process has four steps. The first thing we're going to do is register so we can log in. We're then going to connect to BPOS and that will gather all the email addresses of all the users. We're then going to show you a couple of ways to record devices and discover whether they're compliant or not compliant with Office 365. And finally we're going to show you how to produce a detailed report so you know step by step exactly what to do to move to Office 365. To start with navigate to the transition portal at http transition.migrateoffice365.com then click on register company and this is the first step of the registration process right. type in your company name and I'm going to use demo corporation 4 type in your phone number now I'll type in a telephone number type in your website type in your first name and I'll use mine my email address and that's important because we're going to send an email to verify you are who you say you are and give you a, a license key that you can use to actually authenticate yourself first time on the portal. Um, next choose your partner in this case Hub One, or you can choose any partner that's registered with us. Finally choose your region um, today I'm going to be in Australia. I then click register and what will happen is I'll be given a serial number. Now you can take a note of this serial number but it will also appear for you in email. So when you get your email you can either click on the link or you can do it now. So I'm just going to take a note of that serial number and I'm going to click to register with a Windows Live account. So by clicking login you can use whichever Windows Live account you want. The portal doesn't know anything about Windows Live. All it knows is Windows Live trusts you and gives us a unique identifier which allows us to know which user has logged in. So I'm going to type in my Windows Live ID and my password. and then I'm going to type in my serial number which I took a note of before. Don't worry if you didn't take a note of it, you'll actually get an email from the system giving you your serial number. When I hit confirm information you'll see I'm actually signed into the system um, and I'm ready to actually use that and, and go forward and actually work with the transition portal. One of the first things I'm going to need to do once I've registered with the system is go forward and gather all my user information from BPOS. And the way I do that is by navigating to the transition portal. I'd click gather or refresh BPOS information and type in my BPOS admin username and password. type it in and it's now going to reach out to Microsoft Online Services um, and gather all my user information so I'm aware of every active user that I've created in BPOS. Right, once that's done I can now move to the overview report which will show me I have 13 users all with no information, so I haven't recorded any machines at all. There's three ways I can record information about devices. Firstly, if I'm the user logged in, I can navigate to the overview report and choose report a new device. This will gather information on my machine, and I know on this one I have Office 2010, so I can hit save, and that's saved the information for Alan. Another way of accessing the information is to go to one of the users, um, right click, copy that shortcut and email the shortcut to somebody. The other way is by clicking evaluate devices. As an administrator 
I can go in and choose which user I want to record this device on. So you could wander around to each of your machines, click evaluate device and put the information in here. However, the easiest way to get your users to fill in about all the devices they have is click on email users registration link. That will allow you to pick all the users in your system, I'll just pick two here, and send them an email with a unique link for each of them. And as they receive that link in email, they'll be actually able to go forward, click on the link and record their machine into the transition portal. Once I've recorded all the users, I can see in the overview report the users and the machines and whether any of them have issues. If I want to, I can also delete a device. When I'm happy with that information, I can click on the detailed report and that will allow me to generate a set of step-by-step -step instructions specifically for my organization, telling me exactly how to go through and manage my transition to Office 365. The detailed report is in four sections. There's an introduction, there's a plan which talks about exactly what to do for this organization. It gives you a summary, talks about what to do pre-transition, including all the domains you need to set up with your DNS provider to make Office 365 works. Talks about all the things to do post-transition, and then goes through for each of the users and tells you the different things you need to do for each machine. For example, here's Alan and the system we recorded. We can see there are no issues with it. Um, we can also see there are a number of activities you can do pre-transition and post-transition to ensure that Office 365 works. There's also a bunch of other information, reference information from Microsoft talking about the different things you could need to do and the reference information we've used to build the detailed report. If you're a customer in Australia, there's specific information about syndication. Thanks so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoy transitioning from BPOS to Office 365.